Hi, I'm Patrick. And I'm Liv. And this is the Monkey Vlog. And woo, it is a hot day today. You guys have asked for this video, so we're finally doing it. We're gonna be demoing the sunshade for the Maki glass roof. So let's go. Okay, as we've talked about, um, the sunroof blocks a lot of the heat that's coming in from the car. But if you want a, a sunshade, there is one available. Tasmanian makes one. That's what we're going to look at today. Uh, they sent it to us for a review. Came in this pouch, which I have not opened yet. And it comes with an additional, like almost uh, like a reflective blanket to even block out more. So let's try the first one and see how the installation goes. So if you ever had one of those big window screens that you, oops, I dropped the clips. Um, it's folded up like that. I'm gonna actually step out of the car and unfold it. Can you see? Yeah. Okay, it looks like there is a notch in the front and the back. I think I got it wrong, of course. There we go. <laughs> now, so to get it to stay in, you have to put in some clips. They give you uh, a few clips and you can order more. So let me open these up. So there's the clip and I got to figure out how to get this tucked in here correctly. I put the clip on the sunscreen and now I'm just trying, uh, uh, at least in this corner, and now I'm going to add clips as I go around and I'm not sure, it doesn't really say where the best spot to put the clips are, but I'm just guessing. Let's put that on wrong. So here's the clip. You can either put it in and then try to get the sunshade to, to clip in, but what I've been doing so far is I put it in and then just slide it in and now it's it's holding in place i don't even have all the clips in but it's it's holding up pretty well um it there's like a couple of inches of space between the sunshade and the glass roof so if you are a very tall person it needs that space that might not be a good thing let me grab another clip We'll do one here. Yeah, that seems good enough. Like I don't need all the clips even to get an idea of how this is. Oh, I did that one wrong. Let me go redo that one. So, I don't know what I was doing with this one. There we go. I mean, I guess I'd be scared of it falling down if they weren't all in. Yeah, I, I, it feels fairly, fairly secure. I would put one back here, but other than that, like I could put, is that the last one? Yeah, that's the last one. Oh no, there's one there. So I got one, two, like here, I'm not even worried about it. So I would put one above your head. Yeah, let me do it. Okay, I'll film you. It's going. So I turn it here. Let me show you which. Yeah, let me try it just like that. Slip in. Yeah, I can't really see, but I think you got it. And you, like I said, I clip it onto the thing first. Oh, wait. Obviously, it's got to go upside down. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. There, it's clipped on. And now I'm going to just boop it. Oh, that was actually easy. That was really easy and I'm not I'm not too good with fiddly hard things. So that was easy. Thumbs up. Cool. <laughs> yeah. 
now we can go into the sun and see how much light it yeah. prevents. And again, they have the, and I'll show it to you real quick. This is like a, a very full sunscreen. I don't think I would use that except for, like if I had the car parked outside all day, like maybe people in Phoenix might like this. Um, or like when we were on our vacation in Vegas and we couldn't park the car inside, this would be very useful. But let's go see how this sunshade works in the full sun. Yeah. So we've been driving for, I don't know, 20 seconds. And I said to Patrick, oh, I got to film this. And he was like, what? He'd already forgotten that the roof was up. I don't notice much of a difference, to be honest. Yeah, and it's not a super hot day. It's like 82. Um, but, I mean, it's it's definitely blocking out more light if that's what you want to do. I don't yeah. know if it's blocking out too much heat compared to normal other days, but um, it's definitely doing its job. You think it's blocking much light? Not a... Ambient, yeah. maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't like it. <laughs> Because also, this is obviously just because we film, but I like looking at the sky. When I look at the camera, I can see the sky. Now it's just a black void. So that's just me. Yeah. I and I could see, like, if you if you want to block out um, the bright light, which I don't think it's it's super bright, but uh, it, it's definitely doing its job. We, of course, we have a different intent. We want to be able to film and see and... Um, so it doesn't doesn't bother us to have it not uh, protected, but uh, that's just us. So, what do you guys think? Is this something that you're interested in? We're going around a roundabout. <laughs> <laughs> I know, and some like sideways. <laughs> yeah, are you interested in this? Uh, I mean, we were not hugely interested in it, but I know people had mentioned, especially in in hot locations. So, I. I I do think it's quite pleasant. Like the cabin does feel nice. Uh, so the whole missing the seeing the sky and stuff, that's really just because we film. Really, I'm looking ahead. It just feels comfortable and pleasant. I'm not sure if that's different to when the glass roof was we there. We still got this, a lot of yeah, heat coming in here. That has to change. Yeah, and <laughs> I, I definitely think it's cool, especially the one that blocks out 100% of the light. Um, if you're the type that has uh, has to park outside and it's over a hundred degrees. Um, we're, we're lucky that we're still working from home. And then even when I do go into the office, we have a parking garage, but if I had to park out in a hundred degree heat, I think I would pop this up yeah. before I went into work. So yeah. the fact that it comes, that it pops in and out fairly easy school zone, uh, it is a, is a huge benefit. So it's just like the sun shade that you would put up in your, your dash it takes just a little bit longer to, to pop it in but i could see you know popping it in and out you know at work or if i were at a hotel uh, or at a national park in utah where it's 120 degrees <laughs> so um yeah it's it's definitely does the job it's simple to put in simple to take out so that's very cool well, however, do you, like, I think the clips would fall off when you take it out, right? So you'd have to be careful to keep the clips. They would be nice if the clips were attached. Yeah, I, 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 I sort of am torn about that. It's easy to buy extra clips from Tasmanian. Oh, okay. Right. Um, they're fairly cheap, but yeah, it does seem like that's something that you would probably easily lose if you're not careful with them. I think as long as you're not, you know, yanking it in and out too recklessly, uh, they'll, they, you probably won't lose them. You know, it's not like they're just gonna immediately fall out. Mm, so, you, sure. but you just have to do it a bit carefully, and it should be should be fine. All in all, I am actually glad that we have this. Though it's, I think it's kind of a nice option to have. Yeah, I thought this might be one that we review and then just give away. Yeah. But I think we're gonna keep it. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry. Uh, I, I do think it's gonna be useful for us in certain occasions. If you are interested, if this convinced you to, to buy it, uh, you uh, can use a discount code, Maki Vlog. I'll put a link to it down below. Get you 10% off. So if you are interested, let me know. Let me know what you think when you get it. But uh, don't forget to use that code. Keep subscribing. Keep hitting the like button so that we can make more of these videos and bring more products to you, more tips and tricks about the Maki. And of course, our favorite vlogs.
Road trip vlogs. Road trips. <laughs> Anyways, thanks so much for hanging out with us for this video. We hope that you're having a fantastic time and whatever you drive, enjoy the ride. Bye. Bye. <laughs>